He will put himself in a position between the point that he's defending and us. He is actually an it, an unmanned surface vessel, a floating robot. These are not remote controlled boats like their predecessors of the 20th century. There are no people involved unless we want to be involved. They do their own behaviors, the brain does everything we need it to do, and it does it all by itself. This rotating laser atop the USV surveys the environment around the vessel, feeding its electronic brain with information about approaching boats so that it may take appropriate action. That is not a human speaking. That warning is being issued by the USV, which has judged us to be a potential threat. It's a little unnerving, yeah. We're just hoping that they do pull away in time. Boat Captain Rich Najarin works for the Navy and is at the helm of the boat, being used to challenge the USVs in this experiment. If he is unnerved by these robotic vessels, imagine the effect they could have on a real adversary who is unfamiliar with this technology. So that's exactly our mission, is to make this unnerving. And if we can have the terrorists think twice about coming anywhere near us because of technology like this, then we're doing our job. If they had something like this with USS Cole, and if someone tries to drive up, the USV could have queried him and tried to scare him away, or at least get his intent. Incorporating the exact same technology that NASA used for the Mars rover, these vessels will be protecting the fleet soon. Actually, we're farther ahead now than we would have been. Um, I'm thinking in a few years we could do it.